Hi, welcome to Balance the Iterative Reducing and Clustering using hierarchies, simply called BERCH algorithm. It is one of the clustering algorithm uh, belonging to unsupervised so, uh, machine learning. Here, why do we need BERCH? The K means clustering algorithm is not handling the large data sets efficiently because of the uh, smallest memory and slower CPU configuration. And the BIRCH provides similar result to batch K means algorithm when the number of features are less than 20 in the given data set. So we can use the BIRCH uh, to uh, get the result similar to batch K means algorithm. And also, uh, BIRCH can only process the distance metric attributes. That means it will use Euclidean distance, Manhattan distance, or Minkowski distance metrics. So it cannot handle the categorical data. It should have only numerical data in the given data set. If we have categorical data, we have to apply the label encoding for the given uh, uh, feature otherwise we have to drop that feature BIRCH can cluster the large data sets first by generating a small and compact summary of the large data set that means that summary will have the the information regarding to that particular data point in the form of radius diameter and centroid etc this smaller summary is then clustered using other clustering algorithms like hierarchical clustering algorithms so here the these are the uh, given data points for example the data points are here clustered by using the summary so here each each data point is having its summary so then it will be clustered into smaller clusters so here uh, the agglomerative clustering used um, uh, for further clustering the BIRCH is converting the data into tree data structure with the centroids being read of the leaf so here uh, the when we are applying the hierarchical clustering the centroid will be read from this set of leaf nodes these centroids can be the final cluster centroid or input for other clustering algorithms of hierarchical clustering so here th this leaf nodes uh, are used to find out the centroid this centroid will be uh, used for uh, uh, clustering into further by using hierarchical clustering method or k-means clustering method during the training phase it creates a tree data structure with a given data points to quickly assign each data point to the cluster so here if you are when you are creating the data point then the data point will have the uh, cluster summary so based upon that summary that will be assigned to respective cluster based upon the summary of uh, either radius or, di or diameter and the centroid of that particular cluster here it is having four steps first we, we have to load the entire data into the uh, memory by creating clustering feature that is simply called cf so the clustering feature is called tree structure if the memory is full then we have to rebuild the tree from leaf node so that is the first step uh, we have to do it then second step is resizing the given data set by creating smaller clustering features tree suppose if we have large data set if we have more than more number of data points then uh, we have to make it into a smaller uh, clustering feature tree but it is a optional step here we can remove the number of outliers from the given data set when you are creating the uh, number of uh, more number of smaller clustering features tree then third step is global clustering here we will apply existing k means clustering algorithm or hierarchical clustering algorithm uh, to create into uh, smaller clusters here which is uh, performing based upon the clustering feature entries and finally we can refine the uh, refine the clusters this is also one of the optional method it it will solve those clustering feature trees that has the same value to data points that may be added into 
different leaf entries that means here we are having the uh, some uh, uh, some size of the cluster uh, cluster uh, size so now if we have same number of data points same valued data points that can be added into the different clusters so when you are applying that method refining method the uh, big i mean large cluster will be refined into again small clusters so these four steps to be followed when we are applying the bircch algorithm so for processing the bircch we need the sum of metrics for clustering so first metric is we are in need of centroid which is the middle of the cluster the cluster centroid data point will be uh, centroid position will be summation of all the data points uh, from i, I uh, uh, that i is 1 to n here this is 1 to n i equal to 1 to n uh, divided by n so the centroid will be selected for given data points and the radius of the cluster the radius of the cluster will be calculated summation of i equal to 1 to n here xi minus x0 whole square divided by n uh, so this will be a uh, transform into the statistical matrix already we have seen the statistical matrix are uh, centroid and diameter uh, uh, and um, uh, we, 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 we are in need of radius so radius all these things will be using the statistical measure here uh, this is the squared sum divided by number of data points in the cluster linear square sum linear sum linear sum divided by number of clusters divided by number of uh, data points in the cluster not number of clusters number of data points in the clusters uh, then average linkage has to be calculated between two cluster features uh, two cluster uh, features one, uh, one and two so that will be done by using the summation of i equal to one to n uh, i equal to one so here also i equal to one to n two so xi minus the data point from the first cluster minus data point from the second cluster whole square the number of data points in the cluster one into number of data points in the cluster two here this will be applied based upon the squared sum and the linear sum that we will see in the next slide uh, then diameter has to be calculated based upon the average pairwise distance within the cluster the diameter of the cluster will define uh, your size of the cluster so number of data points can be added into the cluster so that will be calculated by using the 2 into number of data points in the cluster square, uh, squared sum minus 2 into linear sum squared then n into n minus 1 number of data points in the cluster here both radius and diameter uh, are uh, defining the cluster size so if the diameter is less your cluster size will be uh, small if, if your diameter is more your cluster size will be large so which is uh, used to tighten the cluster size around the centroid then we can combine the subcluster by using uh, cluster features um, merge that is we will merge the cluster feature 1 and cluster feature 2 in the form of number number of data points uh, in the cluster 1 cluster 2 then linear square sum of linear sum of cluster 1 uh, plus linear sum of cluster 2 and the squared sum of cluster 1 plus squared sum of cluster 2 so here when you are applying that uh, met, uh, uh, matrix we can form the clustering feature Tree. So, clustering feature tree is containing the summary statistics that is radius diameter to denote the data points information. This statistics, summary statistics will give you much information about the pattern for given data points. BIRCH summarizes the large data sets into smaller and dense regions which is called clustering feature entries so here uh, this each one is called here clustering feature entries each one is called clustering feature entries this is the leaf node which is having the clustering feature entries with the statistics linear sum squared sum uh, and number of data points so here clustering feature each clustering feature will have ordered triples that is the number of data points in the clustering feature uh, linear sum of the uh, 
clustering feature and squared sum of the clustering feature so this can be calculated suppose if i take uh, five data points from the data set so this uh, uh, coordinate right that x feature will give you the linear sum so this is the linear sum of the feature one this one is the linear sum of the feature two so now this can be uh, done so for clustering feature we need the coordinate suppose if you take a data point in the um, uh, uh, 2d dimension uh, here it will have x comma y so the linear sum of x coordinate and the linear sum of y coordinate like that here the squared sum of the x coordinate squared sum of the y coordinate so that's what given here so we will calculate for all the data points squared sum and linear sum uh, here the cf entry may be composed of other cf cf entries also so here you look at that uh, this all data points are combined together this clustering feature is having number of data points 5 uh, based upon this triple then linear sum is here 16 so 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 is 16 and y coordinate here it is giving 30 and like that squared sum of the x x is uh, 54 squared sum of the y is here this is uh, i guess uh, 190 right so now uh, here this is 190 we have to change this right now uh, we, we we are having uh, other parameters like t t is the diameter which is defining the number of data points in the clusters that is the cluster size and the branching factor this is uh, defines the maximum number of internal nodes per parent that means here uh, we, this parent this is the parent so here this is the parent which is having uh, two uh, children which is having two children so this is having um, this parent this parent is having now three children so children one children two children uh, three child one child two child three so three children are there so that is defining that number of children branching factor and leaf node uh, this is defining number of entries in the leaf node suppose the l is five means the leaf node can have only five entries in its Plus, uh, in its leaf node so suppose if it is the if it is the leaf node entire leaf node so that leaf node can have only five entries if l equal to five so only five data points can be available in this single cluster so that is the meaning of uh, hyperparameter l equal to five so uh, these are the hyperparameters uh, to be considered when we are applying the barch algorithm we will see uh, in the uh, next uh, video for further uh, clustering feature step. Thanks for watching.